Girl, this would all be dreaded. I'd be a dread head all the way. Thank you for clicking on my video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If you're new here, please subscribe. I am gonna show you guys how I have my partial dreadlocks sections. I get so many questions on how to do this. I mean, I wasn't just wearing my hair like this as a look. I mean, I could. It's not bad, I'm a little cherry on top. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so when you section your dreadlocks back here, I always say, think of how bricks are laid. So you lay a row of bricks and then you stagger a row of bricks on top. So when I section my dreads, you don't want them to lay dead on top of each other because when it falls, it'll just be right on top of each other. You want it to be, you want them to stagger. You want them to go in between each other so it lays really, really nicely. So I kept that in mind for every single row. And I did that all the way up and I still haven't fully decided if I'm gonna fully commit and do a full head of dreads but I did fully commit to a partial head of dreadlocks and I knew that I wanted to do as many as possible with still maintaining the front part of my hair down. So how I did mine was this part of my hair, I left out and you can see it slants back. On both sides, it's the same. And I did it like this. So when I do my hair in some and some out looks, it's even and it would be a natural a natural angle going up, nothing odd. So that's how I decided to do that. And then if I decide to go full dreads, I can just section this and it'll go fine. I won't have to brush anything out to section anything differently. Now the top took me a while to figure out how I wanted to do this. So what I decided on was I want my hair to scatter and lay over my partial dreadlocks beautifully. So if I curl it, It'll look great if I wear it straight, it'll look great. And then I can also comb it just so, pull my hair in a low bun, twist it, and you can barely see I have dreadlocks for when I'm at work or if I have a professional meeting to go to, anything like that. That's kind of where I'm at. Why I'm stuck about doing a full head of dreads is just from a professional career standpoint. If I was a stay-at-home mom, girl, this would all be dreaded. I'd be a dread head all the way, but... I'm trying to still be professional. Not that I don't think dreads are professional. I'm just trying to ease myself into this and make sure I'm comfortable. So this is just my preference, my comfort level. So this is how I did it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. But so I left the side so I can pull this up and have my dreads down like some and some out. I can also braid this very nicely. Now the top, like I said, I wanted it to scatter over my dreads and not be patchy and look weird. So what I did was I rounded it around my crown. So again, when and if I decide to dread more of my hair or all of my hair, it's already sectioned perfectly so I won't have to brush anything out. So let me see if I can show you guys this. I hope you can see that. I have it rounded. I have it parted, rounded in a natural part around the crown of my head. So when my hair is down, it flows over very nicely. Like I said, I can brush my hair up, it's nice. I can section this down the middle and braid this and put it under. I can do so many hairstyles with my partial dreadlocks with my hair like this. So that is how I decided to partially dread my hair and my reasoning. I don't know if it's sound reasoning. I don't know. No one said it was, this was a singing channel. This is just why I did it this way. So when my hair is down, I just did my oil conditioning video right before this one. So my hair is still just a little oily looking, but I wanted to give you an idea of, I usually, Flip this part over here, kind of how my hair looks when it's down. It just flows over nicely. And that's why I have it parted the way I do. And then when I brush all of this up, it just looks like a nice sum in, sum out. And my dreads can be down in the back. 
I can put this all up in a nice little, a nice little bun like I would have before my dreads. But now it just is a nice little bun there and everything looks pretty nice there. So those are just my simple go-tos, but that was my reasoning. So this goes up to the sides nicely, sits on the crown nicely. That was my reasoning. If you guys have any questions, let me know um, for the parts back here. Like I said, make sure you just stagger, stagger it. I have mine squared off. I've seen triangles. I've seen people just go in randomly and not have actual parts in their dreads and always look beautiful, just so long as they're not right on top of each other so that they fall nicely. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. See you later, guys.